Welcome, my dear friends, to our Saturday evening prayer of Vespers on this beautiful evening when many Christians will be preparing to go to the later vigil for the lighting of the Paschal Flame. But I welcome you now to this beautiful prayer of the Church for all monastics, for all the men and women who are living the monastic life in the Catholic Christian tradition, for this is our prayer and I want to share it with you, for you, for all your intentions, and for our own community, the Teo community of interfaith Franciscans. So let us be still, and if you have a candle handy, why not light your candle with ours? Father, Mother, God, we come into the presence of your great love for us, and we light this light to symbolize the first light of Easter. To give thanks to you for the price your son paid for our freedom. And we come here in joy to celebrate our gift of prayer from loving humble hearts. We praise you, O Lord. Amen. And now we ring our little Tibetan bells for unity and peace for Easter Sunday. O oh God, come to my aid, O oh Lord, make haste and help me. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And our hymn this evening is from Prayers for Holy Saturday Evening. My God, I love thee, though there were no heaven for me to win, no hell to punish those who dare against thy love to sin. Upon the cross thy wide embrace Make me, dear Lord, thy own The nails, the spear, the long disgrace For me should all atone That night of fear, those hours of pain Those bitter griefs of thine That death itself was born to gain A sinner's love, t'was mine and shall the fear of hell below, or hope of heaven above, be all the reason heart can know this loving Lord to love? The love that asks not anything, love like thy own, love free, love like Jesus I give, who art my King, who art my God to thee. And our first antiphon, O death, I will be your death, Shoal, I will be your destruction. And now we read Psalm 115. I trusted when I said I am sorely afflicted, and when I said in my alarm no man can be trusted. How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? The cup of salvation I will raise, and I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people. O precious in the eyes of the Lord 
is the death of his faithful. Your servant, Lord, your servant am I. You have loosened my bonds. A thanksgiving sacrifice I make, and I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill. Before all his people in the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem, let us together pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O death, I will be your death. I will be your destruction. I will be your destruction. And the second antiphon, as Jonah was inside the whale for three days and three nights, so will the Son of Man be held in the earth, in the heart of the earth. And now we read Psalm 142. Lord, listen to my prayer. Turn your ear to my appeal. You are faithful. You are just. Give answer. Do not call your servant to judgment, for no one is just in your sight. The enemy pursues my soul. He has crushed my life to the ground. He has made me dwell in darkness, like the dead long forgotten. Therefore my spirit fails and my heart is numb within me. I remember the days that are past, I ponder all your works, and to you I stretch out my hands, like a parched land, my soul thirsts for you. Lord, make haste and answer, for my spirit fails within me. Do not hide your face, lest I become like those in the grave. In the morning, let me know your love, for I put my trust in you. Make me know the way I should walk to you. I lift up my soul. Rescue me, Lord, from my enemies. I have fled to you for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you, O Lord, are my God. Let your good spirit guide me in ways that are level and smooth. For your namesake, Lord, save my life. In your justice, save my soul from distress. Let us pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. As Jonah was inside the whale for three days and three nights, so will the Son of Man be held in the heart of the earth. And the third antiphon, destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up, said the Lord. And he said this of the temple that was his own body. And now, our next reading is a canticle reading from St. Paul to the Philippines, chapter 2, verses 6 to 11. Though he was in the form of God, Jesus did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped. He emptied himself, taking on the form of a servant and being born in human form like the likeness of men. And being found in human form, he humbled himself, and he became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him, and bestowed upon him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee in heaven and on earth and under the earth should bow and give thanks and give glory to God. Let us pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up, said the Lord. He said this of the temple that was his own body. Our scripture reading is from 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 18 to 21. Remember the ransom that was paid to free you from your useless way of living. A way of life your ancestors handed down was not paid in anything corruptible, excuse me, neither in silver nor gold, but in the precious blood of the Lamb, without spot or stain, namely Christ, who, though known since before the world was made, has been revealed only in our time, the end of the ages for your sake. Through him you now have faith in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him the glory for that very reason, so that you would have faith and hope in God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Christ humbled himself for us and in obedience accepted death, even death on a cross. Therefore God raised him to the heights and gave him the name which is above every name forever. And now we come to the Magnificat Antiphon. Now the Son of Man has been glorified and in him God has been glorified, and God will glorify him now and forever. And now I invite you to join me for the beautiful canticle of Mary, the Magnificat. My soul magnifies the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God who is my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness, henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength, and he scatters the proud-hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones, and he exalts the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, and he sends the rich away empty-handed. He protects Israel, his servant. That's you and me and all who've surrendered their heart to God as he promised to our fathers Abraham and his sons forever. Let us together pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And we repeat the Magnificat Antiphon. <clears throat> now the Son of Man has been glorified, and in him God has been glorified, and God will glorify him now and forever. <clears throat> and we come to our intercessions for Holy Saturday evening. Let us pray to our Redeemer who suffered for us, was buried and rose from the dead. Response, Lord, have mercy on us. Lord Jesus, from your open side, you poured out blood and water. The wonderful sign of the church, bring your bride to life through your death, burial and resurrection response, Lord, have mercy on us. You remembered those who had forgotten your promise of rising from the dead. Give new hope to all men and women when life has lost its meaning. Response, Lord, have mercy upon us. Lamb of God, you became our paschal sacrifice. Draw all men and women to yourself. Response, Lord, have mercy on us. Lord of the universe, you were enclosed in the walls of a tomb. Deliver all men and women from hell and grant them the glory of immortal life. 
response, Lord, have mercy on us. Son of the living God, you gave paradise to a thief on the cross. Look on your brothers who have died and share with them your resurrection response. Lord, have mercy on us. And now we come to our own intercessions. And here I would like us just to be still for a moment and just visualize as we did this morning that we are by the tomb where Jesus is laid and it is dark and it's getting cold by the hour but you are there you are there and as you lie next to the stone that is enclosing the tomb you can hear voices beautiful voices the voices of the angelic realm have come to greet their king who was dead but is now showing new life in his resurrected body and the angels of high rank are preparing the body of Christ to appear in his resplendent glory and the sound of their singing is melodic and it's allowing you to be drawn in to the mystery where the angels take you inside and they allow you to behold, to enfold and to fold into the mystery of the resurrection of Jesus. He has not yet risen but the angels are preparing him for his resurrection in the morning. But where you are, you are being totally transfixed by the presence of this beautiful light. And there are too many angels here for you to count, but they are aware of you. And Michael the Archangel comes to you and he leads you by the hand to the chamber where Jesus is laid and he asks you to look at the body of Christ as he lies there in a state of ecstasy and with each tune from the angel's breath there's a stirring in the Lord's body and the light is the light of God's love and that love is coming into you to prepare you in the morning to arise with Christ for your heart for your spirit and your soul to embrace the triune God who loves you. So be still now and be comforted. And Michael blesses you, but he asks you not to be afraid. He asks you to be full of hope and to trust. And in that spirit of trust, we bring to our Father, Mother, God, everything, anything, anyone, everyone that we know who is hurting at this hour. We bring ourselves, our vulnerability in our humanity. We bring our best aspirations, but we bring the times we've fallen down. We bring all our failings, maybe our impetuosity, our impatience, the struggles we have with pain, maybe bereavement, heartache, sorrow. Let us name all of these and bless them 
and give them to our Father Mother God in a mindset of gratitude, in the knowledge that whatever we share with God, God hears us and God delivers. This is the God of providence. This is our God of abundance who provides for those who are willing to walk the simple path and to trust. To trust. So I want to bring each one of you here with all your families and loved ones together with all my brothers and sisters, past and present members of our community, and especially on this eve of the welcome for our four members tomorrow, for Sister Laurie and Sister Linda from America, who will be welcomed as novices by Sister Nancy and Sister Elaine, for Brother Mark, who will be welcomed in America by Sister Eleanor, and Brother Chris from Sussex in the UK by myself at seven in the morning. We want to celebrate God's gift to our community by saying thank you, Lord. And now we pray for Kath and Wilf, two of Sue's friends who are terminal. And I want to pray for all of you joining us here on Facebook, Oh, dear Sister Mary from Michigan, I pray for you and your dear husband, Mike, and your family. For dear brother Ray and brother Ron. For Wenceslau, Quinto, Il, and Grace Walsh, welcome. For Paul Brezhnehan, that's a good Irish name. Welcome, Paul. And Gemma and Marie McRae, welcome, Gemma. And for Patrick, you are welcome also. For Sister Magdalena <clears throat> and her twin sister Rita in Belgium, we welcome you too. And Brother Matthew from Texas, welcome dear brother. And who else have we got? We've got Joyce, welcome Joyce. And for John Flaherty, another good Irish name, and for Sister Helen Francis, welcome. And I do pray that young Anthony, your nephew, is making some progress. For Adam C. McHenry, welcome. Ah, and dear Sandra from East Texas, welcome, Sandy. And I pray you're feeling better. For Linda, welcome, dear Sister Linda and special prayers for you tomorrow. Who else? Ah, for Jules Gomez, welcome. It's so welcome, it's so wonderful to welcome you because I didn't call you here. The Spirit of God called you to come and to take over where Christ finished his work, to be his beating heart, to be his hands and feet and bring his love, his compassion, his gentleness, his forgiveness to all God's children, not just to Catholics, Christians, but to Buddhists, Hindus, Sikhs, Jews, Muslim, to all, because we are all created in the image and likeness of God. All of us. So let us find it in our heart this Easter to go out and embrace those who may not share our belief or our lifestyle choice. And let us bring to them the love we have in here of the resurrected Christ instead of the judgments from the evil one. We will be judged not by our fancy suits or our Gucci or Armani, but by the love and the fruits of Christ's love in our heart. So let us now pray God's prayer. Our Father, Mother God, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give to us at this hour our daily bread. Forgive us, dear Lord, the times we said we'd follow you, but then we got bored, fed up. We became dissatisfied because the cross got too heavy. Lord, forgive us for all the wrongs we've done in our lifetime. Maybe our lack of patience, our lack of love, or maybe a lack of forgiveness to ourself and love. Lead us not astray anymore, O oh God, but protect us from the Antichrist. Deliver us, O Father, Mother, God, and protect us in your name, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. So be it. <clears throat> and our closing prayer for Holy Saturday evening. Bear with me. Almighty, ever-living God, whose only begotten Son descended to the realm of the dead and rose from there to glory, grant that your faithful people, especially all of you gathered here, who were buried with him in baptism, may by his resurrection obtain eternal life. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus the Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And now, for a simple Celtic blessing from Iona, that Sister Sandra's familiar with having been there, the blessing of heaven, the blessing of earth, the blessing of sea and sky, on those we love this day, and on every human family, the gift of heaven, the gift of earth, the gift of sea and sky, the gifts of brother sun and sister moon, and the gifts of the animal kingdom, be in our heart now and always forever, amen. As I blow out this simple flame, I thank the Archangel Michael for leading you by the hand through this life and especially when the storms come and sometimes we lose our way, that you don't lose your way and that you will remember this hour. Amen. And as a little treat, I want to play this for you. But just imagine these are the words of Jesus, who's now regaining in his strength, and you can hear him singing these words to you and to the angels present with him in the tomb. I will love you all of my life. You are forever telling me I and I'm criticized, I never speak. I prefer to turn the other cheek. But I will love you all my life. I can never do things you right by. And the kind of man. Who mothers You can find mistakes in all I do, but I will love you all my life. Something foolish happens, and you see in the middle of it all. I cause you so much misery 
but I will love you all my life. him all of our life and my prayer for you this Easter is that you will hear the beloved speak to you and take away your fear and replace that fear with conviction that you are loved because all that happened 2,000 years ago was for you and me. So don't be one of the nine lepers who was healed and who never came back. Only one out of ten came back to say thank you Lord. Represent the nine who didn't and come to the tomb tomorrow and celebrate. Namaste, Shalom, Inshallah, Paxet Bona Mom Shanti, Solo di Caritas, Salam Alaikum, and may the peace from Christ, the Son of Peace, be your peace this day, this night, and for all of your life. Amen. Thank you for being here. Oh, thank you. It's such a joy to have you here with us. And I wish you a blessed day or evening till we meet again. A blessed Easter from all our community. God bless.